Now to another kind of COVID testing. The Utah Department of Environmental Quality takes samples from sewage flowing into 42 treatment plants around the state. Going in depth tonight, Fox 13's Max Roth takes a look at how those results show when COVID is lurking undetected. Looking at sewage does not give us a COVID case count or a sense of how sick anyone is, but it can show when COVID sneaks into an area in people who don't have symptoms or who are traveling through. From the DEQ's sewage monitoring site, we'll start with a look at tourist towns. Here's Park City. On the right, every one of these charts, you'll see the Omicron surge. But what we're looking for are earlier spikes, where sewage turned up COVID without a big spike in reported cases. Look to the left of this chart. December 29th of 2020, winter break in a packed ski town. And now in Moab, where sewage detected a spike in COVID without a case spike, November 4th of 2021. Not so cut and dried as Park City, but Moab did see their folk festival and folk camp return in person, with as many as 1,000 attendees. In Vernal, a peak of COVID in sewage on July 19th, 2021. A lot of COVID there, but no big locally reported case increase. Now that was just after Vernal hosted the Dinosaur Roundup. That's their PRCA professional rodeo. In other places, wastewater tests seem to spike when you would expect young people to gather, get infected, but possibly remain asymptomatic. In Cedar City, a wastewater spike on October 7, 2021. Classes at Southern Utah University started on September 8th, one month earlier. And in St. George, a sewage spike three weeks earlier than they saw in Cedar City. It was on September 16th. And classes at Dixie State University began earlier as well, August 23rd. Plus, Washington County Schools started classes on August 12th. The Utah Department of Environmental Quality keeps records of sewage testing that is publicly available online. Those charts are measuring how many genetically distinct positive samples are there from a particular area. In other words, not a case count, but they show at times there's a lot more of the virus around us than there are people feeling sick and getting tested. In the newsroom, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.